Hey Aries, this is Kelly from Moonpie Tarot. So I'm here doing your November 2018 love reading. This is for Aries Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So, oh, the car flew out and it was <laughs> the instruction card. Oh, I guess I never took that out. Um, anyway, this is for Aries Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what you can, what may feel like fits best for you. Um, if you guys want to be a channel member or an exclusive member of my channel, my feature page has a link there. And there should be a link at the bottom of this video also. And with that channel membership, uh, there's a small monthly fee and the perks that come with that are that I will be doing live monthly chat sessions where you can, if you're a member, it's only for exclusive members that you can ask me questions in the chat and I'll pull cards and give you readings. You also get this cute little badge, your own personal badge. Um, and I'll add more perks as I go. Okay. So of course, have to have at least five channel members to start that. Okay. So Let's get ready for your reading here. These cards are big and bulky, so they're a little hard to a little hard to shuffle. What are the messages for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This reading, this spread is a little different than I usually do the monthlies. This has to do more with how the other person feels about you. So if you have someone in mind, then this would be about that person. And if you don't have anyone in mind, <clears throat> um, this, pro this reading probably won't be for you, but you can also go into my playlist because I have a singles uploaded. Okay. So let's see what the energies are for Aries, the person that they're dealing with. What can they expect? The past, present situation. Okay. Okay. Starting with the magician. Three of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles, just the Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, a Nine of Wands, I'm sorry, Nine of Swords. the world and the death card. All right, so before I start that reading, I just want to pull a card from the Romance Angels during Virtues Romance Angels Oracle deck just to see what the love messages would be for you for this month of November. So November the middle of the month, 15th or 16th, we start coming out of that Venus retrograde. So take that into account. Message for you, Aries, to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, this person, quite different from you. In fact, I feel some of you, there's someone that you're, there's someone who um, you really never considered to have a relationship with, a romantic relationship with. This is for some of you. Well, this person comes to me as more of a friend that's how you view them. You don't feel that 
spark or that, you know, crazy attraction, but you do feel that deep care and friendship with them. But the message that's coming through for me for you guys is I feel like this person is actually your, you know, the one for you. They are not what you normally go for or, or who you usually expect to go for because you're not feeling that spark with them. Um, I feel like for you guys to take note in November that that person that you're not feeling the spark for is actually the one that's going to produce the greatest spark at some point. I just felt like that was a message for some of you that you have a friend who maybe you should just take a second look at. Okay. And for those of you, you know, in a, in a situation or thinking of someone, you need to keep an open mind about this person for some reason. And I am definitely not <clears throat> saying that if you've been in any type of abusive relationship that you should just keep an open mind about that or give them the benefit of the doubt or the second chance. I'm, I'm not, I, I, I don't, I mean, I don't think you're that silly or, you know, not silly, but I think you know the difference in, with what I'm saying. Um, especially if there was some type of narcissistic behavior or somebody who was just extremely selfish, you know, unless this person is seeking some type of treatment, you can keep an open mind that they get help, but you should definitely be removing yourself from anything that's going to damage you if you're not capable to be detached or if you've developed some codependency issues with someone or in a relationship. All right, let's start with your reading. The past situation here is the magician card. So definitely some magic. <laughs> I mean, it's very simple with the, with the magician. Um, manifestation happened something occurred in this connection or in in your life where you had everything you were at an, you were at a peak you were at an up <clears throat> an up point at some point in the past you had things going for you you felt like you had you were on the right track with work you were on the right track with family home, even if it wasn't perfect, you just, it seemed as if you were in a place where everything just kind of came together. Like the universe, just all the planets aligned at just the right time. <clears throat> and everything seemed to be going well. And I feel like that is still carried through. That's still carrying through to the present. Um, for a lot of you, this, this has to do with, um, projects that you've been working on, uh, work situations, career. Some of you have careers in communication, radio, television, uh, <clears throat> any, anything where you have to speak, anything where you have to write some type of communication things. I feel like a, uh, many of you found this place now. I've come to the, you found this place in the past where you, you figured out where, where you wanted to go, where you belonged, you know, where you needed to be. You, you, everything came together. Everything, the, 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 the fruit was ripe now in the past and, and you were able to, to pick it at just the right time. And what's happening now is there are things in your life that are starting to build and grow and there are people supporting you and you're learning as you go. Okay. And this could have something to do with a particular relationship. Now it doesn't have to just be romantic. It doesn't have to just be a spouse. This love readings can have to do with family love, friend love. So however it pertains to you or whatever resonates for you. But I feel like in the case of a relationship, something magical happened between you and someone else in the past. 
And there is this present energy of early stages of building, still learning, still growing. A lot of you are still talking to your parents about a particular relationship or you're, or you're speaking to siblings or you're speaking to, to elders or people who um, you're getting, somebody's getting advice about how to continue on in a connection or relationship or how to make something work, how to put the pieces together. And there's definitely an energy that I'm feeling here, you, another person, and then a third party. And I'm not, don't be scared off by quote unquote third party. A lot of people think third party is cheating. Now for some of you, um, you some of you may have been connected to someone uh, that's, you know, how can I say this? They kind of started their own business. So they started doing their own thing with work and then the third person got involved. Um, and then it was you and them and the third person. Now I'm not necessarily seeing jealousy, but this is about performance and somebody was showing off or somebody was, um, the other person probably, um, was trying to impress a lot of people. Not just you, but somebody else. So something may have occurred. A little possessiveness or jealousy of some sort. Uh, perhaps someone you were attached to uh, was working with another person and, and some issues may have come up. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is here. So the thoughts on this person, the other person, what they're thinking about this situation that may have occurred is, it's just a work friend. It's just a colleague. Um, there's no romantic connection here. I'm not seeing one. I'm seeing friendship. I'm seeing work, working together, colleague type energy, but that's it. It's probably somebody older. I feel like whoever the third person is, is probably, it feels, it could be older male or female. I'm sorry if I sound out of breath, but I'm, I don't know why. I feel, I feel, I feel out of breath because I feel an energy of sadness. And let me just take a second to breathe here. I feel short of breath. I feel I'm short of breath because some of you are feeling that way now after hearing that. Um, and short of breath and worry and fear to some degree. Right, so this, this king or queen of pentacles, male or female, whatever the situation is, um, there's nothing happening here between your person and that person. And I feel like that's what they want you to know their thought about it, or maybe they told you, is that nothing's going on. Nothing's happening. We're just work friends. We're just colleagues. This person, and if it's not a work friend, it's a, it could be a parent. This person is trying to support the other person, your person financially to some degree, in the sense where maybe they're helping, they're giving stability, support, financial advice. And if this is you who's manifesting these new, who has been in the past manifesting a new beginning and then getting to this point now where still working on that, this person wants to help you. Producer, bank loan officer, <laughs> any kind of supportive, because the queen, the queen of pentacles is always in a supportive role. And uh, queen or king, business, strictly business. So if this is someone that you were interested in, romantic, mm, they're focused on business right now. Okay, um, let's move on to this three of swords here is in the position of what this person thinks of you. They, they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to break your heart.
they don't want you to think that they are like that either. This person doesn't want you to think that they go around breaking people's hearts, but they also think that maybe you might do that. And that is why they keep it strictly business or they keep it non-emotional with you. Because in the position of what they think of you, they think that you might hurt them. <laughs> and I know you're, you're saying I'm not going to do that, but you know, it's all comes down to perspective. There, there really is no true reality. It's just our, pers it's our perception of reality. And you know, if there, if this person is thinking this way about you, there, there's either a fear that they have because maybe they, maybe they're jaded from past love or uh, past heartbreaks, or they just have a fear that um, you will hurt them. And I feel like that's why, you know, I, but, I, but I have to tell you that I feel like this person is also keeping an open mind about you, even though they're coming across. Uh, you two are quite different in a lot of ways. And even though they are coming across as being so generous and supportive, it's kind of like they, I feel like if this is a love situation, that they are kind of um, skipping around the perimeter just to suss you out <clears throat> right now. You know, and you may be wanting this person to come towards you in these romantic gestures, but that's not how they operate. Especially if it's a pentacle person, earth sign, <coughs> Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And they kind of observe a little bit. They suss, suss things out first before they get their heart involved. And right now, their thought process is that Maybe some of you are becoming so well known to some degree that they're they're fearing that they won't be able to um, please you romantically or you know in that in that way of um, well you know in a love way. So they just kind of keep it casual business, you know. Um, how they feel about you is six of wands. I mean, popular, um, victorious, famous, some of you uh, might be in that position of fame to some degree. I mean, I, I said to some degree now four times. Fame on any level, whatever it may be. And, um, They're in awe of you and your ability to manifest what you've been manifesting in your life from the past to the present and how you're constantly working so hard. And they want to be a part of that, but they're not so sure about the love part. Maybe you need to give them a little clue if you're interested. You know, so they, they do view you in a very, very, very high honor uh, light, you know like standing at the top of the mountain, you know, that's where, that's where they see you. And sixes are, you know, about exchange. And I feel like this being a six card, they see that you're very much in connection um, with the people who are building you up with the people who are supporting you. They want to be a part of that. And they, you know, they see that this exchange that keeps happening here, you know, you're not just getting or being, or <clears throat> excuse me, Aries are where you are simply without the help of, um, people who are supporting you. It's because of those people supporting you. And because of your constant exchange back and forth with them, that's gaining you all of these attributes and all of these, you know, these wins. And that's what they're seeing. Now, what this person wants from you, <laughs> communication, they want to talk to you, ace of swords, whatever obstacles there are 
they want to help, they want to support you, but they want to, there's some obstacle, there's an obstacle between you and this person. And they need to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. They, that's all they want right now. They want to be able to talk to you one-on-one alone, just you and them. The Ace of Swords is the one, one one-on-one. Maybe they also want to help you, give you some advice here about, you know, what's going on in your life right now, the things you're accomplishing, whatever you're doing. Um, You could be anything. There's just, I'm seeing communication. I'm definitely seeing communication, some type of communication. So... What you need to know about this person, Nine of Swords, they're very anxious. They have a lot of stress. So we could definitely be dealing with Gemini. We could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, So for those for those of you that that resonates, of course, that would re- resonate. But they have the nine of swords. What you need to know about this person? They're they don't sleep well at night. That's for sure. They're always in. They're they're anxious. They worry. Or you're just so different in that sense where you're just. I mean, it's not that you're immune to worry. Everyone has worry, but this. You're not, you don't worry the way this person does. I mean, it's deep. There's blood drops at the end of this, of these swords. This person's a mess. I'm picking up Gemini here. So I just kind of feel like um, they, but they come across throughout the majority of their day or interactions with people is calm, collected, no big deal. But when they go to bed at night, they can't sleep. They have to take something. Some of them drink. They have trouble um, getting these thoughts out of their head. They just roll and roll and roll and roll. They think of everything they said during the day. They relive, they replay the entire day. And I I feel like a lot of this is what they want to say to you. There are things, a lot of words, a lot of communication. They, They think at night, what should they say to you? How should they say it? Let me try this. Wait, let me try that. Wait, what if I said this? Wait, what if I said that? But the truth is they just want to talk to you. One long conversation about one, just, they just want to get it started. But they don't really know how to start the communication. So if you haven't been in communication with this person, this is why. They don't know what to say. They don't know where to begin. Now you have the world card for your advice. Um, Some of you are dealing, some of you work online. Some of you are in contact or connection with this person um, through Wi-Fi connections, virtual connection, internet, World Wide Web, internet, whichever, social media, whichever. Um, So two messages here. Your advice is let this person into your world. Go ahead and invite them into your world. And also, um, if they, if, if you're at a distance to each other, allow them to come see you or your advice is to take a trip and go see them. And, um, Q, 
keep doing what you've been doing. Don't stop. Because some of you are, you know, some of you, I've, I'm, I'm picking up there's some doubt about this person. I'm sorry, I need to get a drink. There's doubt about this person. You're not sure. You may not feel as deeply for them as they do for you. And that's why, you know, you have this keep an open mind card. And, you know, keep moving forward. You're taking on the world right now. You're taking over the world in your life, Aries, or whatever sector of your life. You're owning shit. And you have to keep on doing that. You can't stop that. But the thing is, with that growth, it's hard to find someone or to reach back out to someone because there's just so much happening. It's, it's almost as if you've been lifted up like in a mosh pit and you're carried away. You're being carried away. And this is great because I feel like this is what you've wanted to do to whatever, to wherever you are in your life and however that's resonating for you. You know, even if it's as small as organizing a town watch at night or being the head of some type of, um, you know, community group of some sort, I'm seeing you in a position of victory and fame. So, but there is someone who's been by your side helping you who actually has feelings for you. And you may not have really looked at them that way or felt that way about them. Um, and I feel like the, these messages are coming through are for a specific group of people. And I will try to see if I can pick up messages for everybody. Um, so for that situation, some people, you have someone who's side by side with you, helping you in whichever way. And it's an earth sign. And, um, This person has feelings for you and wants to be able to communicate with you more to overcome these obstacles. This They want to talk to you about their obstacle. This, this is what their obstacle is. This isn't an obstacle that's occurring between both of you. They need to talk to you about how to overcome their obstacle to connect with you because their obstacle is that they fear you're going to hurt them in some way. And they have a fear to move forward. So the outcome here is the death card, which is great. Um, so for some of you, you're going to end up with a Scorpio. Um, for others, this is just fantastic transformation. There's going to be change coming in this connection. Massive change. So if the situation is bad, it's going to get better. If the situation is excellent, you wouldn't be looking for a tower card reading. Okay, so this is bad to good, worse to better. And I feel that it's really important for you guys to keep an open mind in this situation. Okay, not so much with the soulmate differing from your usual type and expectations, because I think you're aware of that, but to keep an open mind and to stay positive about this connection. I, a lot of you, I feel like this is a secret admirer situation that this person who's either, you know, working with you is, um, sorry, the person who's working with you is actually a secret admirer to you. And for those of you who have this person who has someone working toward them, um, they probably do have feelings for them, um, but to them, it's to you know, they're just it's just a work thing. I really feel like Aries. It sounds it sounds so strange to say, but I really feel like you've got someone here um, that could be an excellent friend to you. 
if you're not looking for love with someone right now, but you are, but there is someone that you're not sure about, there's some type of change. And I'm actually, I, I didn't do this in my other readings, but I'm going to do it here because I just kind of feel like it and it's my channel, so I can. I just want to um, clarify this death card. Oh. So the Eight of Cups. Okay, well, for some of you, there's going to be a temporary separation. Or there's healing and ability to, you know, walk away from this because of uh, this communication. Aries, I feel like you're in the position during the month of November to help somebody. Really, really help someone who needs it. Whether this is a friend, a past lover, a new lover, or whoever you're thinking about. Um... They also think that you could probably help them with a love heartbreak that they have been dealing with, with a very, for a very long time. You can help them with that. Even if this is this person that you are romantically involved with, they may have had heartbreak in the past. And this transformation can also be about um, a little bit of travel you know, making the decision to connect with each other, to be in each other's physical presence if you're far away from each other. Um, and I, I feel that might resonate for a lot of you who are in these long distance uh, relationships, virtual, you know, online kind of things. I'm just seeing communication coming. And probably from, and here, look, the chariot fell out. So, yeah. definitely like a trip or travel or taking direct action in a situation. Hmm. The world card in the sun. Your advice, stay positive. That's what I was saying. If I keep pulling cards... Um, I'm just going to get the same messages again. That's how, it's always as a reader how I know that it's done is when um, I go looking for more messages and then they just say, nope, this is it. Nope. We said what we need to say. This is what you needed to, this is what they needed to hear at this time. I could literally, I mean, I could go on for an hour and there have been times where I've been able to, but I just get to this place where I just keep pulling cards and trying to, you know, and they're, they just, they're just like, no, you've said it. Less is more. Don't over talk. So I think that um, there was a quite, a, it seemed a little jumbled, a little mixed, but the entire story may not be for you. It may just be certain sentences or certain things that maybe trigger that you needed to hear. Sometimes I get a lot of messages flood in from different angles, different places. And then they, you know, kind of combine and then it gets confusing. Tower card readings can be that way. And uh, I'm definitely feeling yours today. So stay positive with what you're doing. If there's someone you need to go see, I feel like it's going to happen. Or someone who needs to come see you, I feel like that's going to happen. And definitely be open to communication. They may be seeking your advice, but there is some type of hurt and pain here that somebody needs healing from this other person and you seem to be the one that they are looking to to help them even if they've hurt you in the past which I don't feel like they have I feel that might have just been a byproduct or default of everything they've been through in the past so you may need to keep an open mind during November about actually reconnecting or connecting and having a conversation 
And the outcome is you may either have the conversation and settle things and keep moving on with your life and walk away from this and finally make that transition to change. Or some of you may need to continue this into December and actually go see that person or have them come see you. But we don't know until December comes. So that's going to be your reading, Aries. So I hope that you enjoyed that and it helped you in some way. And I will see you guys next month or December. All right, take care.